How am I supposed to deal with this roundabout? They know the indicating, indicating incorrectly. How am I supposed to know how to go? Hi, I'm Patrick Bill, and welcome back to our Retro HGB training series. The video is designed to help you pass your HGB test. And in this video, I want to show you and explain the roundabouts, how to position yourself, how to drive on them, so you pass your test with ease. I've been teaching people for almost 20 years now and I'm so sure about my techniques and training that I'm offering now pass guarantee. You can find contact to me in the description of this video. Now let me take you for round 50. 50 roundabouts, different scenarios, multiple lanes, different traffic conditions. Strap yourself and let's go. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it, first roundabout, we're gonna be turning right. So, checking quickly for the right hand lane, moving into the right hand lane. There's no cars in there. And now, planning for going. Remember, you plan for going, not for stopping. So slow down, slow down, maybe 20, even 15 miles per hour. You can leave a little bit of the trail in the, in the left hand lane if you want to. Just to say to the people, yes, I'm big, I'm gonna be taking a little bit of space. Uh, quite lucky now, no one was coming from the right. Now, the next bit is, people will be coming on your left and you've got the roundabout on the right. So you've got to be going very slowly because it's very hard to control this left hand side, so near side, it's very hard to control it. And it looks like they're coming super close to the truck. But if you go slowly, then it's all good, you know, they will just pass and you will fit with the roundabout. Okay. truck you can stay slightly in the middle lane as well just to make it a little bit easier because the corner could be quite sharp so you're gonna play it safe if you go all the way to the left then coming out of this corner like for example here will be very very difficult And I can see, so from one lane it comes two into two lanes. So you don't want to go all the way to the right. You want to keep it sort of in the middle. You won't be able to block this roundabout completely as it's very wide. But you can see now the trailer is obstructing completely that, that other lane. And no one will go on our uh, side, on the right hand side. So the roundabout is pretty much blocked so no one goes around you and that's what you want really indicating left after passing the last exit you're not going to do not indicate any area next roundabout we're going to be turning right now we've got two lanes approaching the roundabout so it makes makes the road a little bit wider now okay so of course we're going to move in the right hand lane as the there is no road markings, there is no sign saying that any other lane will be to turn right or we're looking for those. And we've got two lanes going forward, one going turning left, as you can see. 
So, busy around about. I'm gonna leave again a little bit of trailer in that middle lane, just a little bit, just to say to them, yes, I am big. I will be going, so just be aware. So they know that I will be taking a little bit more space. They will be more cautious as well. So I know no one will go on our near side, uh, on our side. And we're waiting for the blockers or for this to be clear. Looking to the left, looking straight ahead and looking to the right. And it looks like the gap is good now. So off we go. That car was just quite far. And now looking in the left hand mirror, you can see the silver car. They go in, looking at the trailer, nice and slowly, perfecto. And indicating left, going to the left living in the left hand lane very important to live in that left hand lane when you're turning right next roundabout again we've got it we've got two lanes approaching the roundabout so again dropping the speed down and on this roundabout we're not going to split the lanes we're just gonna stay close to the white line on the approach, looking at the roundabout, it's clear, so off we go. Indicating left and leaving in the left hand lane, of course. And again, now we've got the roundabout with the traffic lights, okay? The lanes are marked clearly. Left hand lane goes to the left and two lanes are going forward. So we always use the first possible lane from the left, that's our lane. With the traffic lights a little bit easier because we don't need to judge if we can go or not. Leaving that gap of a car length when we stop him. And waiting to be ready to shoot off when that changes. Checking the mirrors. checking the mirrors as you can see like this car over there just cut through from the from the other way mirrors and off we go now next roundabout we're gonna be going straight on following the road ahead so as from the road markings again we can see this is the middle lane to go there so I'm gonna change the lane into right hand lane now very important thing when you're changing the lane and someone is flashing you you say to the examiner oh they flash me I'm going it doesn't matter what they say, they say don't tell me or anything, say it to yourself, you don't need to get an acknowledgement or anything like that, but it, it is good to say it. Again, traffic lights controlled roundabout, very easy to go through.
Bravo and we're going 50. Just looking at as far ahead as we can. Next roundabout. We're going to be turning left. It's the first exit. So again, looking at the roundabout and planning for going. We're not going to plan for stopping and to do that we want to see what's happening at the roundabout. So we're looking ahead, we've got a big bush, we look to the left, maybe some, we've got the car uh, turning around so that's important because we know it's going to come around. But quite luckily we're, it's clear so we can just go. As we go along we will see more busy situations, more busy roundabouts, so stay stay with us. And traffic lights are changing ahead of us, it's a red light, so it's enough the gas, just use the gravity to come to it. mirrors and a blind spot this time. Just sped up, just sped up. So more looking next time, you can see, very easy to misjudge, so they just floored it. Best to just wait and look, because um, it was just one blocker, so best to take two blockers, get half two blockers, and then go with two blockers. There was only one blocker, and I thought I'm gonna make it, but the truck is too long, too heavy, and I didn't make it. So don't do it on your test, because you will fail. And that was that was just bad. That wasn't good at all.
and this roundabout which is following the road ahead, second exit. So we're gonna split these two lanes, so the middle lane and, and the left hand lane, but we're gonna do this the way that we're not gonna allow anyone to go into that middle lane next to us because it's our lane really okay so okay looking for blockers it's quite ble busy from the as you can see from the right there I'm looking for blockers no one's coming I'm looking to the left as well maybe someone will be turning around there's one this no this one is going our way we can't go this one this two let's go let's go let's go come on 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 all right it's hard you can see in the mirror this car already next to us going fast
try to just move through in this traffic and come off onto A5 South whenever it's safe. blockers coming around so two blockers remember all clear from the right we're good perfect two blockers off we go the speed has changed to 40 to checking our mirrors after the roundabout and staying 40 mile per hour safe to do so
road ahead, second exit. Let's see, so we've got the one lane approaching. Now, what is going on over there? How many lanes? There's two lanes on this one. It looks like it's okay to just go in the left-hand lane. It's nice and clear, so we can just go, just go. By your speed, approach speed to the roundabout has to be nice. So 20 miles per hour was for this one. Just would you feel comfortable, easy to stop the truck, but also, uh, like, you know, easy to stop and also easy to look. Because if you're going super fast, then you won't be able to judge it. Again, approaching the left hand lane as it was good, just staying then in the left hand lane through the roundabout, indicating left, and off we go. about this one uh, two lanes approaching one is to turn right the other one just to go straight over just gonna stay on a white line between the lines between the lanes quite tight quite tight that is actually and then if you do that if you don't split the lanes make sure you follow in your lane indicating left and turning left and off we go roundabout again going following the road ahead the second exit this one about three lanes so very wide what we're gonna do we're gonna split slightly the left and the middle leaving the truck more in the middle than in the left but no one goes in the left hand lane and then staying in the left hand lane because you can see the car trying to get and around us at the roundabout and because you left the right hand lane they allowed to do this and it's sometimes just not possible to block the roundabout completely because it's just so wide on the approach approaching again we're gonna split the left and the middle leaving enough tray line in the left and enough cup in the middle lane and it was just about good to go so we go in looking for the blockers two blockers two small cars blocking the traffic from the right it's enough or something big going around but again just be careful even something big Sometimes if they go too fast and you don't use them as a shield then you're gonna be exposed from the right and yeah so just be judge for the exact situation what it is. Then your lane is not going to be that good. 
So always try to help yourself. This roundabout, splitting the lanes, and off we go. Indicating left and going left. Splitting the lanes, going second exit, indicating left, and off we go. This roundabout, we're going to turn right, so checking your mirrors, indicating right, and we're going to go to the right but again I want to leave a little bit of the trailer in the left hand lane so it's just easier to get an angle of this roundabout so if you go all the way to the right then you have to when you get to the roundabout you have to move to the left and this is what you don't want to do okay so this guy is approaching quite fast looking for the blockers blockers around this there's two 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 blockers off we go see the line through the roundabout it's much better now if you split it if you go in the left hand lane then it's just becoming very difficult because you have to move to the left when you get to the roundabout and these people they don't know that you're going to be moving to the left because you're already into the roundabout and you are indicating right because you're turning right so your position then is just misleading that's why You've got to plan for the situation. Always try to be two steps forward. And it, you know, it doesn't, it's not coming like after one hour or two hours, you need to spend some hours in a truck, you need to, you need to drive. Without this, you won't be able to do it. That's why when I hear, you know, I, I drove four hours and I went for the dead, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's no point turning left at the roundabout first exit. Next 
next roundabout, we're gonna be turning left, first exit. She feels so slow. Okay, so again, three lanes approaching, we've got the left hand lane, and we're just gonna split left and the middle. Again, just make it a little bit easier for ourselves because the bend is quite sharp. And look into the right, white car, uh, not really, not really, we can't go. Looking to the left, no block is going on. This one going all the way towards us. Okay, uh, this Pima turning left. Off we go, this is our chance. There you go. Big truck next to us as well. In the mirror, I hope you can see that. And off we go. Straddling the lanes, as you can see, the roundabout quite wide, but the up end, the road to the roundabout and after the roundabout is just one lane. So you can just just straddle it. You can split the lanes. You can go through the middle of the roundabout, especially that you're blocking that approach. You're blocking that approach. Another roundabout. Um, second exit. Let's go. And looking again, looking early, so again, speed drop to 30 now, 20, because I know this is going to be about that. We've got this car going, look, their lane, their line was just saying they're going to be going straight forward, so I'm going. Because cars, they would position themselves differently if they're turning towards us this way then if they're going straight even though they don't indicate they indicate incorrectly at this roundabout we're going to be turning left first exit checking the mirrors and again approach the road is just one lane we split the lanes to make it easier and off we go nice and clear
floor to check in the mirrors. Green light, green is mean, just easing off the gas and be ready to brake and stop if you change to upper. Roundabout, we're going to be turning and we're going to be going straight on the second exit following the road ahead. And again, just looking at the roundabout, and it's super wide on the approach, wide through the roundabout. We're going to stay in the left hand lane, just indicating on the left after we pass the last exit we're not going to, and off we go. Look at that, this Merc going really close and I just gone on the curve to look at that. A little bit lost concentration and look at that. Very easy to do something. Yeah, off we go, off we go. So yeah, not going on the curb. So they're going on the curb on the roundabout like that. It's not as bad as going on the curb on a in a town centre, in a city centre where it's pavement. But still, you have to stay in control. Always look, keeping an eye on that mark 
and then and then just yeah basically swing too early and the trailer went straight away on the curb. So next one about second exit. Second exit, let's see, let's see. Okay. So checking the mirrors on the approach, planning for going again, planning for going. With two cars, this one going here, this one there. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. This one was good. And again, keep an eye on the right. The silver car, there, indicating left. Nice and slow speed, and off we go. Very easy to do the mistake. Very easy. the roundabout we're going to have to swing a lot to the left so we want to block a little bit of the left hand lane as well and leave enough cab in the middle lane so no one goes in there as well something like this so you can see the black car in the on the left is indicating left so it would be next to us if we didn't block it and would be horrible to move so now it's our chance we go in look at that we've got a nice line through the roundabout and this is what you want okay so you're gonna keep on thinking how you're gonna plan it how you're gonna position yourself through this roundabout to make your life easier if you try to squeeze this truck sometimes into the lane like if we done it in the middle lane it would be just really hard because the car is on the left and on the right and then judging you can't go too fast it's hard Roundabout going straight on second exit. And we're looking at the roundabout, we're looking at the blockers left ahead and to the right. It looks like look, after this one we should go. Car. Just leaving enough space and look at that. Very close. This was tight going out of the roundabout. So you 
might as well go a little bit slower for this if you think you haven't got that much control over the truck.
this is what you want to do. You want to just start going when you see the blockers. Maybe someone coming from there. But this one is telling you this, this is this is chance. This is chance. All right. Yeah. This guy is going without the signal. Yeah. checking left hand mirror. So I don't click the cap. Indicating left, concerning left, coming off to the left, and off we go. Off we go. Just decided to come off. Just 
Thank you. Ten indicating left, coming off to the left. Next roundabout. Following the road ahead, second exit. And on this one, we just can't really split this. Oh, yeah. Cars are coming. Oh, we able to go. One block up. Oh, it's turning even our way, so it can't go. And this is this is a chance. This is a good chance. Yeah. Checking the mirror. Checking another mirror. Staying in our lane. And indicating left. Checking the mirrors. Indicating. And coming off. And off we go. Building up the speed nicely. And let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. enjoyed this 50 roundabouts done 50 different scenarios different traffic conditions i hope this video can help you pass your hgv test if you have enjoyed that please press like subscribe share and comment and also 
Drive safe.